For drawing uh, one dash one, basically what we're doing is we're creating a title block and the borderline uh, that we're going to be using for all of our drawings. And so what we're going to start with is when you get into AutoCAD, um, the very first thing that pops up is a screen like this. Your may, yours may not have all these things, but it should have this over on the side. So we're just going to go new. And that takes you to your uh, drawing screen. And for this first drawing, uh, I'm going to start up in the top left corner with a line command. So I simply click on the line command. Notice that it gives me in the command line, it says that I'm in the line command, specify my first point. So down here in the bottom left corner-ish, I'm going to click my mouse and I'm going to drag it to the right. Now I do want to make sure that I have polar tracking turned on. So if it's blue, that means it's turned on. And what that should do is that should give us a green uh, extension line on our uh, when it's attached here. And if I go horizontally, it should give me a, a, a green extension line. I'm going to type in the number 12. One, two, enter. And notice it gave me a 12 inch line here. I'm just using my roller ball to zoom in and out. If I push my roller ball down and hold it like a mouse button, I can pan. And so I'm going to adjust it here. So I have got a 12 inch line. I'm going to go vertical, nine, enter. I'm going to go back to the left, 12, enter. And I'm going to go back down, nine, enter. Now, if you happen to, if you happen to, um, point your mouse down and in the process of moving your mouse or moving your hand from your mouse to your keyboard, if you happen to do that, or you're like, oh shoot, all you have to do is right mouse click and go undo. And that makes it so you can retype. So you can redo the line. Once you complete your 12 by nine rectangle, hit enter again. Then we're going to use, I'm going to zoom in a little bit, we're going to use the offset command. I'm going to type 0.75, enter this line, and I'm going to click above this line. I'm going to do the same thing from this left side and from the right side. I'm going to offset this line three inches to the right, and I'm going to offset this one one inch to the left. So I'm going to go offset three, enter, click, click, and I'm going to go offset, one, enter. Okay. So then I'm going to trim. All I want is this little line and this little line. So I'm going to click on the trim command, and I'm going to get rid of this. Then I'm going to go to my my O snap or my object snap right next to my object snap. I'm down here at the bottom with that little triangle, a little carrot. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to make sure that midpoint has got a check mark on it. Check mark. Or... So we're going to be using the midpoint here. So make sure that um, the O snap has midpoint. Click out here. Make sure it's turned on so it's blue. And I'm going to get a line. And I'm going to go from the midpoint to the midpoint. Then I'm going to zoom in on this bottom corner here. I'm going to turn that O snap setting off. That's that square there at the bottom. I'm going to turn that off for a minute. I'm going to go up to the annotation tab, click on the text command, the arrow on the text command, and click on single line text. I'm immediately going to let go of my mouse and type the word fit, F I T, enter, because I want to fit my word, my text, inside this box. So I'm going to come right down in this bottom corner, not all the way in the corner, but up a little and over a little like this. I'm going to single click. I have this dotted line attached. I'm going to come straight over to the right, about the same distance that I started from the left borderline. I'm going to end right about here, and I'm going to single click. And then I'm going to take my mouth, my hand off my mouse. I'm going to type 0.5, enter. And that's going to give me this text box here. And so now I'm going to make sure my cap locks is on. And I would like you to type in your first 
and your last name. And then enter twice. And that should have you centered here. Um, if it's not centered in the middle, simply single click so that you got blue handles. You can adjust the length here, make sure that it's centered left and right. And then if you click and hold, uh, if I single click and hold on one of the letters, I should be able to move it around and I can move it vertical so that I can adjust the height. So I want my spacing above and below the same, and I want my spacing to the left and to the right. I'm going to move over to the middle section here. I'm going to do this again. I'm going to go single line text bit f i t enter click right across to here click type point two five enter. And this one's going to say using all capital letters there. Three spaces. One, two, three. And I'd like you to go like five. And then whatever period number I have you. Whatever no period is. And then enter twice. Then I'm going to use the copy command. Single click on that row of words to enter. And I can click anywhere, click, drag straight down. So I center the words inside the box there. Single click again. I'm still attached, so I have to hit enter. I'm going to highlight the bottom right here. Double click on it. Double click. I'm going to edit the words here. So this bottom row is going to say, California, three spaces. Three spaces and the word score, F-C-O-R-E, colon. Now I'm going to continue to hit the space bar until Montclair here matches exactly Montclair here. And what this does is that makes sure that my, my letters are approximately the same size, but it also gives me some space right here. Um, if we print these drawings, this gives me a location to write your score, right? That's where I write your phrase in. So this title block so far tells us your name, what school you go to, what class you're in, what period you're in, what city you're in, what program you're using, and what grade you're in. So here's where we're going to write our drawing number. So let me show you how we're going to do this. I'm going to use the copy command again. I'm going to click on this row of words to enter. I'm going to put my mouse down here underneath Montclair. So single click. And back straight to the right, single click again, and then enter. I'm going to highlight my words, grab this handle, drag it all the way down inside the box. Here. And I'm going to double click on this. I know you can't even see what it says, but I'm going to double click on the words here and type one dash one. Enter. One more time, I'm going to copy. This and I'm going to double click on it so that I can see the space. And this one a little bit bigger. Okay. 
the drawing number one back on the escape. So get rid of all the handles. Escape is in the top left hand, uh, corner of your keyboard. And this is the finished title block. It's got all the information necessary for, for you to hand in a drawing so that I know exactly who did what on this drawing. 